Hello guys, Keep on TV here, back for yet another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a video on what I think Karanka is going to be doing over the summer in terms of buying players and also selling players. So let's get straight into the video. So we all know that Karanka's preferred form, uh, formation sorry, is a 4 2 3 1. Um, we used to play in a 4 4 2 with two strikers up front. Um, and yeah, I don't think Jukovic can play. In a 4-2-3-1 formation, I don't think he can play on his own. He needs support. He needs to play with another striker. So, this is going to ask questions. Will Lukas Zukovic be sold by Kranka? Well, would he be sold? Um, will Kranka want to sell him? It would be a dumb decision, to be honest. I think he deserves to at least be on the bench. If we do bring in another striker, which I think we will. But he's got 50, he got 15, he's got... 15 goals last season, he was our top goal scorer last season. The season before that, of course, he won because Chad Adams went on about and scored 22 goals. But even in that season, he got 14 goals. So he's got 29 goals in the past two seasons. But you could argue that a striker in the championship gets near that in one season. They get like 20 plus goals. But Jukovic, I think, um, has done really well for Blues. We only spend £1 million on him. And if I'm not mistaken, um, Karanka managed... Luke Zukovic at Middlesbrough for a short period of time. So, I just can't see Zukovic getting game time. If Kranka goes to a 4-2-3-1, which I think he will, because, of course, that's his preferred formation. But Kranka is known for switching it up a bit, you know. If, um, he knows that um, he's not going to be getting much of the ball and if teams are going to have, be having a lot of possession, he's, he um, sets up a 4-4-2 formation, so then Zukovic could be useful for that. But yeah, um, leave it down in the comments below, by the way. Do you think Luka Zukovic will be sold? And also, Christian Pedersen. Now, we brought in George Friend from Middlesbrough on a three-year contract. Uh, and, it, and of course, we've got Steve Seddon as well. Will, and there's, there's been reports, um, the last transfer window, that Pedersen might be leaving the club. I mean, will Pedersen believe in Blues? Now, Watford did bid for him in the Joey transfer window. And I definitely think there's going to be a lot of interest for Pedersen before the window slams shut October the 5th because he's been brilliant for us this season. He's been brilliant since, since he's came, to be honest. Probably one of the best left-backs in the championship. And there's definitely going to be clubs, maybe, you know, mid-table clubs, um, clubs that have just got promoted like Leeds and West Brom. They're going to be looking at Christian Pedersen and thinking, you know, yeah, we, we, we can go in for him and... Uh, They'll be confident they can get him. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens this summer. Is George? Are we bringing in George Friend because Christian Pedersen might be leaving the club, and we're going to have Steve Zedden as a backup? I do not know what. I do not know what's going to happen. Um, Kranka, um is. He's definitely got a job on his hands because this team finished twentieth last season. Twentieth. We've lost Jack J Clark. Salt, sorry, our. Probably our best centre back last season, um, and yeah, we've lost him. We've got Dean and Roberts who, uh, they're not really good enough if you want to be pushing for promotion. Crank has come into the come into the club with a massive, like I said, massive job on his hands. He's got a lot of work to do, so he needs time. He needs to be backed by the board, and um, yeah. Leave it down in the comments below. Do you think Pedersen will leave? Jukovic will leave? Do you think Kranka will change his uh, style of play? Do you think we'll play a 4-4-2 like we have done? Do you think he will play a 4-4-2 to suit Jukovic? Or I don't. I can't really see Kranka changing his formation. But the 4-2-3-1, yeah, we definitely need a striker with pace and who's clinical at finishing. Don't get me wrong, Jukovic is a good player, but... You know he's not really good with his feet, is he? He's more of like a striker that you can put, a, uh, you can put a ball into the box and he will head it in. That's what he's known for, isn't it, Luka Zukovic? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe. It's been Keep Right TV. Keep right on. See you later.